All right, guys, we're back working on portfolios today. Uh, section 1-10 today. So here I'm on our homepage for Math 1100. Go to Course Content, uh, Portfolios, and it's this guy right here we want to do today, page 83. Okay? Uh, so let's see. We can open up our ebook and see what to do or actually before that there's probably a template we can go find so go back to course content go to additional course resources uh, for most of the portfolios there are templates not for all of them but for most of them so you find the templates under additional course resources so unit 1 lesson 1-10 and there we are see here so here is our template Remember, always hit enable editing now let's go to the uh, ebook and figure out what the directions are so let's close that out to get to the ebook uh, let's see here we go to uh, connect and go to connect math let's see here let it load up yours might look a little different here All right, ebook right here. Let's let it load and unit one, lesson one dash ten. Let's go to the portfolio section. Here we are. Okay, so technology one is what we're doing today. It says create a spreadsheet that calculates final grades. For the grading system described on page 82, so the last page, you can use the samples there as a template. Your sheet should use formulas to add up the number of points possible, uh, your total score when you enter individual scores for exams and homework, and your final percentage. Experiment uh, with your spreadsheet to find the effects of one unusually bad test score. A template to help you get started can be found in the online resources for this lesson. Okay, so we already, we already did that part. We, got, we have the template. So it says to reference the previous page, which is this page right here. So we want to essentially uh, do what we did in class. And if you haven't gotten to this part in class yet, uh, what we did was uh, we filled out you know sample grades here and then calculated a final grade. But we want to make a spreadsheet kind of do the calculations for us. So let's go back over here. Here's the template. Now if you didn't uh, download the template, this this wouldn't take long at all to make. So here we have uh, some columns. We have, it. We have uh, let's see, four exam columns, a homework column, a final exam column, and then a total points and then percentage. So what we want to do here is figure out a way for Excel to add up all of those points and put the answer there okay add up all of the actual scores and put the answer there now that this uh, this this score is left blank uh, you'll see why in a few minutes but let's just put a let's just put a random score in there for now so there's 200 points possible on the final exam and let's say Oh, you scored a 175. Okay. All right. So there would be all the scores. Now, uh, let's see. Have we covered this yet? You might have seen this on a prior video. Maybe not, depending on which order you did the portfolios in. Uh, there is a formula that Excel uses to add up cells. So... Uh, you can either type it or you can use buttons. So if you want to use the buttons, you can go over here to formulas. And here's just some of the routine pretty basic formulas. But what you want to do is sum. Now remember SUM sum, that is kind of the math word for adding. Okay? You want to add up numbers. Now when I click sum, click on the button, Excel kind of guessed that I wanted to add up all the numbers to the left of the cell I was in. 
and it guess right. Now, it won't always be right uh, if you have complicated spreadsheets, but here this is a very uh, simple spreadsheet. Excel guessed and got it right. So, uh, see how it highlighted all of these cells? That's cell B2, C2, D2, E2, F2, and G2. It, it's, it highlighted all of them uh, and it's going to add them up and put the answer in H2. Now, if you remembered, you could just type what it says here. Equals SUM, then in parentheses, uh, write your two uh, the uh, starting point that you want to add and the end cell that you want to add and separate them by a colon. Okay. All right. So hit enter and notice it added them up and uh, it says the answer is 800. Now we can verify that really easily. That's 200, 200, that's 400, 5, 6, 7, 800. So that's, of course, you could do that by yourself really easily. But if it was more complicated, if there was a lots and lots of columns with uh, not nice round numbers, it would be really nice to be able to add automatically. Now, let's do the exact same thing to figure out how many points the student earned. Or, okay, so there is 800 points possible in the class. Now, let's do the exact same thing to figure out uh, how many points this hypothetical student earned. Now, I'll actually do the exact same thing, except I'm going to type it this time instead of use the button. So whenever you type a formula, because there's not always a button for all the formulas, you'll find that out later on, uh, you always start a formula off with equals. So I'm going to say equals, then type SUM for sum, okay, then open parenthesis, and then let's see, we want to add this cell, which is cell B3, C3, D3, E3, F3, all the way up to G3. So we could actually say, uh, well, I'll, I'll take it back. We could actually do this right here. We could say uh, B3 plus uh, C3 plus uh, D3 and so forth and so on. See how it's highlighting them? Note that, that shows that the cells were we're actually doing this right, uh, plus E3, plus F3, plus G3. You could do it that way, or the quicker way would just be to say SUM for sum, and we're going to say B3 colon uh, G3. So you see how it highlighted all of those. Then hit enter, and there it goes. So it looks like this hypothetical student earned 656 uh, points out of a possible 800. Okay, that's uh, so far so good. Now, we want to figure out what type of uh, grade this is. Uh, and how do you find your grade? Well, it's, it's a percent. Now, how do you find a percent? Now, this is a thing we have done a lot in this class and we will continue to do a lot of, is how to find a percent. Now, if you hopefully remember, you can go ahead without me, but percent is part divided by whole, whatever that answer is, times 100. Okay? So, uh, you know, we can put the grade either here or here. It doesn't really matter. Let's put it right there. So we want to find the percent, which is the part that we earned out of the total possible points. So... There isn't really a formula built into Excel for this, but we can tell Excel we can write our own mini formula, okay? Now, we always start a formula off with equals. Now, we want to say part divided by whole times 100. So, since we're doing uh, division then multiplication, let's make sure to use parentheses here. So, it's an open parenthesis. Now, we want to do part divided by whole. What's the part? The part is the, the points that we've earned, that, that 656 number. Okay, which cell is that uh, 656 in? It's in cell H3. So type in H3. See how it highlighted? So that means, you know, we, we did the right thing. Divided by, so that's part, divided by whole. What's the whole? 
the whole is the 800 points possible. Where is 800? 800 lives in cell H2. So divided by, which is uh, the forward slash H2. Now see how it just highlighted in green? So they're color coded here. H2, H2, they're both green. H3, H3, both blue. Okay, close parentheses. So that right there, that signifies part divided by whole. H3 divided by H2. Part earned over total points possible. And then we need to times 100, because that's how you find percent. Part divided by whole times 100. So remember in, in Excel, to multiply, you have to use the asterisk key. That's Shift 8. So times 100. And that should be good. Enter. So it looks like we made it, or this hypothetical student made an 82. Okay? Now, if you're feeling uh, kind of fancy, you could do this. Now, uh, let's see here. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, we could get Excel to turn that into a percent, uh, put a percent sign there by going to home and then clicking on percentage. But now see what it did. It, uh, it made that into 8,200% instead of 82. But I think there's an easy way to fix that. You know, you didn't have to go here, so let's control Z. You could leave it like this. But if you wanted there to be a percent sign there, since it is a percent we're talking about, uh, what you could do, well, first let's center that. There we go. That looks better. Uh, you could stop here if you wanted to. But if you want to uh, put a percent sign there, what you could do is delete that times 100 business. So right now it is uh, in a decimal form. 0.82, 0 0.82 is the same as 82%, but now when I click percent, I don't have that 8,200. And there you go. Again, that last step, you didn't have to worry about it if you didn't want to. And that's your done. Well, okay, the direction said to play around a little bit. So if uh, we could we could kind of you know simulate, so let's say you know these were all the correct scores, and then let's say let's see what would happen like if you bombed the final exam, okay? So the final exam is worth two hundred points. So let's say you earned fifty out of those two hundred points. Let's see what would happen to your final average. Now watch what happens. Since we have used formulas, when I change this number, this number right there is going to change, and that number right there is going to change, because we've used formulas to calculate cell H3 and cell I3. So let's see here. Let's say we earn 50 points. Now that's not earning a 50%, that's earning 50 points, which is a 25%. So you, that's like you making a 25 on the final that's really not good. Let's just see what happens. So you bomb the final. So that would bring you down from a 82, making, uh, let's see, 175. Oh, that's about an 80%, I believe. Let's see. What's 175 divided by 200? Oh, 87 and a half. That was close. Okay. Um... So let's see here. Okay, so if you made a if you made about, you know an 87, so a high B in conjunction with all of these scores, uh, you would make an 82 in the class. Or if you bombed the final, you would go down to a 66, which is a mid D. So you see how you know doing really bad or really good on one test grade can really hurt you. Uh, or like let's say you aced the final, so you made a 200 out of 200 points. That's a perfect score. And you make an 85, so you still couldn't make an A because you made some lower grades over here. But, you know, something like this can really uh, help you out uh, seeing where you stand in a class. Okay? Um, now, that's all you have to do for this current portfolio. Make sure to name it correctly. Okay. So we go here. Remember, uh, remember how we name portfolios? We say uh, last name, under four, underscore first name, underscore page, 
was it 101, I believe? Oh, let's go back over, over here. Nope, page 83. Page 83. So, P, A3. Okay, save that. And that's all you gotta do. Now, I want to show you something for our class. I wanna do essentially this exact same thing, but I wanna show you how you can use it for our class because this is just a made up class. You know, there's not, uh, there's not any, uh, this, isn't, this isn't how our class works right here. But you can do a, a very similar thing and get a little uh, spreadsheet for how our class works. So I'm gonna copy and paste. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna copy and paste. I'm just gonna make one off to the side here. So I'm going to say your scores. Let's bold that like they did. Okay, now what kind of grades do we have in our quantitative reasoning math 1100? We have, well, I always call them tests. So let's call them test one. Uh, we have test two, we have test three, and we have test four. We have four tests in Math 1100. What else do we have? Uh, we have um, participation. Yeah, it's only 5%, but it still is part of your grade. Now, remember how to uh, make this cell bigger so that you can see the entire word you type? Go up to that column, and you, when you see that symbol right there, double click. It'll automatically adjust the width of that cell. What else do we have? We have portfolios. Okay. And uh, let's see. We have, oh, your, your connect. So now I'm going to condense your homework and your quizzes into one grade for the purposes of this, because that's how you see it in Blackboard. In Blackboard, you have your Connect score, which is uh, your homework and your uh, quizzes. They're weighted differently, but that's a single grade, okay? So I'm gonna just call it Connect, okay? Now, is that everything? Test one, test two, test three. Test four is your final. Just, I'll put that right here, just so we all remember. Um, participation, portfolios, connect. I think that's it. If I forget something, let's see. If I forget something, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll figure it out in just a sec. And we can say uh, overall, or I'll just call it course grade. Now again, so I can see all that, go like that. Now let's put some dummy scores in. Let's just make up some scores. Let's say you made a 90, an 85, let's say an 80, and let's say a 75. Now let's say that you came to class and you participated, so you got 100. Let's also presume that you have followed all the, all the tutorials I've shown you and you've done 100% uh, on the portfolios, which is not uncommon at all. Most people, if they follow the tutorials, uh, they can do that just fine. Uh, with Connect, you know, there's quizzes and there's homework. Uh, let's just say you made an 85, okay? It's not, uh, since you have a lot of uh, extra, you have, you know, unlimited tries for a lot of these uh, assignments before the due date, you know, it's not, it's not impossible at all to get 100% on Connect, okay? Now, here, now, uh, you know, uh, to get the answer for your course grade here, uh, you have to use what's called a weighted average. A weighted average is when uh, the things you're trying to average don't all count as much. For instance, let's just write above here what these count. According to your syllabus, the first three tests are 10%. Oh, not negative 10%. Uh, uh, 10, oh, it's because I put it in parentheses. <laughs> uh, that's another way to, to, be, to show a negative number is to put parentheses around. A lot of times banks use that. Watch what's happened. So if I put parentheses like this, it turns into negative 10% because that's, that's one way to signify a negative number. It's usually like in a business type setting. But what I can do is format that to, nope, 
If I format it to just a general cell, then it should be fine. Nope, still want to do it. Oh well, I'll just type 10% with no parentheses. Okay, that's 10%. Test 2 is 10%. Test 3 is 10%. Test... Uh, 4, which is the final, that is 30% of your grades. So we're up to uh, 10, 20, 30, that's 60%. Participation is 5%. Portfolios are 15%. So what are we up to here? That's 60, 5, 70, that's 80%. Then the last 20% comes from uh, Connect. 15% comes from your homework in Connect, and 5% comes from the quizzes. So that's 20% in all. So that will remind me of how we need to do the weighted average. So to, to compute a weighted average, to find our course grade here, what you want to do is multiply each individual grade by the corresponding percent, then add them all up. It sounds complicated, but I promise you it's not. So all we have to do here, okay, we're, we're writing our own formula, so we have to start with an equal sign. So we want to say this cell right here, times 10%. So that is cell B13, uh, column B, row 13. So B13, I want to multiply it by the corresponding percent, which is 10% now. We want to convert 10% to a decimal form because whenever you multiply by a percent, you, have, you need to multiply by the decimal. So 10 div to convert to a decimal, you do 10 divided by 100, 10 divided by 100 is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, okay, plus test 2, that's in cell C13. So C13 times, uh, let's see, 10% again, so 0 0.1, plus uh, test 3, which is in D13, oh, D13, times, again, it's worth 10%, so 0 0.1 plus test four. Now that's the final, so that's worth 30%. So we're gonna multiply cell E13 times, you know, 30% is 30 divided by 100 in decimal form, or in fractional form. In decimal form, it's 0 0.3, okay? Now participation's worth 5%, that's in cell F13. So we wanna multiply that by, okay, 5%, 5 divided by 100 is 0 0.05. Be careful there, 0 0.5, that's the decimal form of 50%. We want the decimal form of 5%, which is 0 0.05. Okay, portfolios, that's in cell G13, times... Oh, let's see, portfolios, that's 15%. So 15% in decimal form is 0 0.15. Okay, and then uh, the connect score, which you can always find in Blackboard, uh, is, that's in uh, cell H13. Uh, we're going to multiply that. It's worth 20%, 0 0.2, okay? Now, that is how you find a weighted average, and when I hit enter, it should calculate for us. Well, 85. Now, so let's say, uh, well, first of all, let's, let's make this a little neater here. I'm actually going to do this. I'm gonna say, put a final. 30%. I'm going to make this a little wider. Watch this. I'll make this a little neater. Uh, so remember how to select a, a, uh, a rectangular area? Select one cell, hold the shift key, and select the other corner, the diagonal corner of, of uh, the, the rectangle you're trying to select. So I select all of that. Let's center it all. Center, that makes it look nicer. Now watch this. This uh, allows us to do borders. So we can do different types of borders, or let's just say we want all the borders. There, that looks nicer. Much nicer, okay. 
Alright, now uh, let's play around with this. So let's say, let's have the hypothetical situation. Let's say we're at the end of the semester. You haven't taken your final yet. But you've been to every class. If you come to every class and you and you work in groups and do what you're supposed to do, you'll get 100 in participation. Uh, at the end of the semester, you should have all your portfolios done. So you'll know your score. Let's say you didn't get perfect. Let's say you messed up on one and didn't go back to fix it like you should have. So let's say you made a 97. Okay. Let's leave connected 85. Okay. Now this is factoring in probably a zero. That's why everything's so low. Yeah, that'd be a, that's why it's so low. Um, let's say, yeah. See, it's factoring in a zero for the test since it hasn't been taken yet. So let's say, let's see what happens. Let's say you didn't take the final. You would make a 62 in the class, which doesn't do you any good because uh, you need to make a C or better to go on to the next class, okay? Now let's say uh, you made a, oh, let's just say you barely passed. You made a 60. Well, you can make a 60 on the final exam and still make a B in the class, an 80.05, which is a B, <laughs> barely, but it's a B, uh, with these other grades. Okay, uh, let's say you made, you studied really well, you aced it. Let's say you made 100. Let's see what happens to your course grade. Since we used formulas here, this uh, course grade is going to automatically update when I hit enter. So let's say you made 100 on the file. You could make an A in the class. Cool. All right, so, you know, this is just a way... Uh, you know, this is this isn't part of the assignment that you're that you need to turn in. You can if you want to, uh, but you could make this little spreadsheet, um, and you could use it to project your own grades because this is exactly how I'm going to calculate your grade at the end of the semester. This is what Blackboard does right here. Okay, it takes uh, your test grades, weights them at 10% for the first three, 30% for the fourth one. 5% for participation, 15 for portfolios, and then your homework and quizzes from Connect are condensed into one grade, and then that's 20%. So 5 and five and 15 get put together. All right, so that is how you, um, uh, that's how you calculate your grade in Math 1100. Now, if you're in somebody else's class, uh, maybe this has changed, or just a, a little disclaimer here, uh, we are, I'm recording this video in summer 2016, it's possible that I change my grading, uh, my grading criterion, or criteria at some point, but for the summer 2016, this right here, uh, is correct. So, and I'll try to make a new video if I do change my grading scheme right here. But, again, this is what you need to do for the portfolio, uh, uh, to turn in and this is what you know just just uh, showing you how you could calculate your grade giving you information to help you make uh, you know better informed decisions about the class studying and showing you how either good grades or bad grades could uh, hurt you like uh, one more thing before I go uh, I often have students that maybe want to ignore their portfolios or maybe ignore their you know, their homework, their online work, connect the quizzes and, and the homework. So let's say we have a student that aces everything, make a hundred on their four tests. They come to class, so they have a hundred there, but let's say they just do not want to do anything online and uh, they do maybe half of their portfolios. So 50, they make 50%. And let's say maybe they do half of their homework, so that's 50% on their you know online connect work. Okay, that has dropped their grade from a hundreds to a very low B. Okay, let's say hypothetically they did all the homework. Okay, but only did half their portfolios, so they're still in A territory, 
but let's say they did zero of their portfolios. Drops you down to a B instantly. Okay, which that makes perfectly good sense because portfolios are worth 15% of your overall grade. So it drops this student from a 100 down 15 point, 15% 15 of 100, which is 15 points, to an 85. Okay, let's say they did none of the online homework and none of the portfolios. So zero in both. So again, this is a student who made 100 on every test, but didn't do any of the portfolios or homework quizzes. 65. That doesn't do you any good. So I'm just trying to show you here how uh, how you know not doing stuff could hurt you, but on the same token, let, I mean, let me show you this. Let's say, oh, let's say you're a solid C student, 75, uh, 75, maybe 78, maybe 73. Oh, and let's say another 75. Okay, so that's a solid C student on tests. Comes to class every day, it's 100% there. But let's say this student uh, did all their portfolios and made 100, which is completely possible. Many students often do their 100% on portfolios because they follow the tutorials and get 100%. Okay. Uh, also, let's say the student did very well on the homework with Connect. Maybe let's say uh, 95. Okay. So that brought... This student had, you know, a, a mid C test average, you know, about a 75 test average, okay, maybe a hair over 75 for a test average, um, but because they did well in their portfolios and on their online homework, their grade was brought up about 10 points, 9 or 10 points to a solid B, okay. Let's say I made 100 there. So that brings you up another point. Okay. So again, uh, in this scenario, a student's grade was greatly improved because they did well on the homework and portfolios. That's what those are there for. They're there to help you get practice, but also to help boost your grade. You know, um, you know there's 20% there's here, and that's the that's 35% of your grade is is classwork. Uh, excuse me, is work outside of class. So they really can help your grade. But on the, the, the flip side of that coin is that can, they can really hurt your grade if you ignore them. So at any rate, you know, this, this tutorial is uh, pretty long because I went into all kinds of stuff that, that wasn't the actual assignment, but I wanted to uh, you know, discuss how grades worked, uh, especially in this course in summer 2016. So if you have any questions, feel free to... Uh, feel free to stop by my office at any time. Again, just want to reiterate. Just want to reiterate. Uh, this is this highlighted part here is not mandatory. I just hope I hope you do look at it. Maybe even make the spreadsheet so you can uh, know how your grade is calculated uh, using a weighted average. Um, but it's not mandatory. This right here is the only part that you really need. And, and do play around with it a little bit um, to see how you know, doing bad or good on test scores can uh, improve or hurt your grade up here. So, I uh, hope this has been informative. If you need any help, feel free to swing by my office. Feel free to email me, and I'll be glad to help you out. Hope you guys have a nice afternoon, and I'll see you soon.